Hello. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how you can operate your plant quickly and efficiently with the Zimatic PCS7 process control system. To do this, I've brought a demonstration project from the chemical industry with me. Let's start with the classic case, where you want to access information about a measuring point. Here in the example, I want to download information from the system about the filling level controller of reactor R110. To do this, I use this selection window. Now I have the possibility to access the various measuring points in the system using filter options. We can now see all filling level controllers. I select the controller I want and display it in the faceplate or in the monitoring screen. I'm already done with that. Here in this monitoring screen, I now have all relevant information available about every aspect of the measuring point. What I see is the typical process value. I can see the nominal value, but here in the top half, I can also select additional things via the menu window, such as alarms relating to the measuring point, limit values, or a display of the trend curves. Another typical application example is the reaction to an alarm. If an alarm is triggered in the system, it is displayed automatically at the top of the process diagram. By clicking with the mouse on the icon directly next to the alarm, I can access the process diagram, highlighted here in blue, and I can react immediately. Let's take a look at the current state of this filling level controller. We can see that the controller is back in the normal range and there is no danger anymore. So we can now acknowledge this message. We can do that in the message view and the message disappears. Nevertheless, we are interested in knowing what triggered this message. For this, you can use the trend view and look directly into the history of these process values using the archive variables. You can analyze what triggered the alarm, react to it, or, if necessary, you can leave a message for a colleague or for yourself. I'll now show you how you can operate your plant even more efficiently by using convenience functions. If you use different combinations of image windows frequently, for example because you regularly switch over your production, then you can save them in the system directly with an individualized name. I will use the name reactor here just to keep it simple. And I can then access it again at any time. That saves time. You will find more convenience functions, for example, for changing the language setting while the plant is running, or the option of combining curves for your individual needs, in the taskbar in the bottom half of the screen area. Semantic PCS7 is the process control system from Siemens for a fast, efficient plant operation. If you'd like further information, you can find us on the Internet. Thank <laughs> you.